Hey guys, welcome back to another IT Works tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to extract an ISO image. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do to extract this image is we're going to go to the internet and we're just going to type in 7-zip. Now this is just a software that will that'll allow us to extract that image. So if you just click on the first selection where it says download 7-zip. Now it's got all these options here. So if you're not sure about which one to select, in my situation, my computer is a 64-bit operating system. Now, yours might be a 32, but most new computers today are 64. If you're not sure and you want to check what you can do, it's just press the Windows Start key and R at the same time, and it'll just bring up this run box. Now, if you just type in Control Panel and just click OK, then if you go to System and Security, System, and then on the left-hand side here, it says System Type, and in my situation, mine is a 64-bit operating system. Now yours might say something like 32 or something along that nature. So whatever yours says, just get that selection for it. So in my case, it's this 64-bit. So I'm going to just click download. And then what it's going to do is just going to start downloading here in the left corner. And after that's finished, I'm just going to double click on that. All right, and then we're just going to click install. And that'll just install the software and then we're going to click close just close everything all right now if we go to the left hand side we'll just type in seven oh, sorry seven zip and as you can see it says seven zip file manager so it's installed perfectly fine so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our iso image and we're just going to right click and then it'll give us all these options here and what we were looking for is the seven zip selection we're not going to click on that we're just going to hover over it and just move to the right hand side and just click extract files. Now it'll bring up this box here of all these different options and things you can do. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave everything as the default. It's just gonna create this Windows 10 folder on my desktop, so that's perfectly fine. I'll just click OK. So now it's just extracting all those folders and stuff inside the ISO image. So as you can see on my desktop, it's already created that Windows 10 folder. So if we look inside it now, it should be finished. If we look inside, as you can see, it has all these folders here. So this is very useful stuff because if you want to, if you have like a bootable USB, you can simply just put all these folders on the bootable USB, and then you can use that bootable USB to install, for example, in my situation, Windows 10. So it's very useful. That's all for this tutorial today. If you have any more questions about this tutorial, just leave in the comments below and I'll try and answer it as quickly as possible. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.